Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, after reviewing the Ishin trash can, I was asked whether it's worth upgrading the double PH2 connector into an XT30 battery connector. So today in this video, I'm going to try to answer this question. In order to compare these three types of battery connectors, I need to use the same batteries. So I'm going to use six brand new GNB 450mAh 1S LHV batteries. Four are connected in series, so these two are connected in series using a JST connector, and the other two are also connected in series using an XT30 connector. And I'm going to use these batteries along with the appropriate battery connector in order to power up my thrust stand and see how it's going to affect the performance of the Spintec Motor 1304 motor, which in conjunction with the Gemfriend 3035 propeller should generate about the same power consumption as four 0803 motors. I'm going to start the test with the double PH2 connector and I'm going to run each test for three times in order to simulate the flight. Now I'm going to power it up using the battery with the JST connector. Again, I'm going to run the test for three times. And finally, I'm going to test the battery with the XT30 connector. Now let's check the results. The first row is the results using the PH2 connector, then the JST, and finally the X30 connector. So if you look at the first test, when the throttle was at 100%, the measured voltage was 7.73 volts, and the measured ampere was 5 amperes. Then using the JST connector, the measured voltage was 7.82 volts, and the measured ampere was 5.1. And finally, when using the X30 connector, the measured voltage was 8.01 volts and the measured ampere was 5.25. So as you can see, the XT30 connector is better than the JST and the JST is better than the PH2. If we look at the other tests, you can see that the results are consistent with the results of the first test. And I'm going to put a link to this document in the description box down below if you would like to check it out. In addition, I can also estimate that at 100% throttle, both the Mobula 7 and the trash can current is going to be greater than 5 amperes, so it's only going to increase the efficiency of using the XT30 connector than the PH2 connector. In terms of weight, using an XT30 connector is going to add some weight, obviously. So this connector, which is included with a trash can, weighs 1.85 grams, and the two PH2 connectors that were used on the trash can weigh just over a gram. So if you're going to use these two batteries in conjunction with the X30 connector, the total weight is going to be 28.62 grams. And if you're going to use two single batteries with this PH2 connector, the total weight is going to be 26.47 grams. So using an X30 connector is going to add about two grams. So overall, according to my test, I can tell you that if you don't care about using single 1S batteries on your PyWoop, you should change the 2PH2 connector into an XT30 connector. Just be careful because, for example, on the trash can, the battery pads are pretty close to each other, so make sure that you're not going to short everything out. And soon as the weather will clear up, I'm going to head outdoors and check how the trash can is going to perform using the XT30 connector. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.